fifth graders happy monday uh hi we're getting into lesson uh 24 thank you and we have guest teachers and they're brilliant and amazing uh first guest teacher of the day is named alex up and coming math professor um he's gonna do some great things for you we also have a special guest in today um by the name of Zara. beautiful so stay tuned yes thank you yeah, round of applause. it's not easy it's not easy being a brilliant mathematician um so stay tuned they're gonna we're gonna check out a couple of the problems you guys what's our learning target in lesson 24 word problems using fraction and decimal multiplication what is that what does that even mean uh, no you try to figure out word problems. And word problems. Them. That's all. Just yeah. word problems. We can handle word problems. Let's go. Here we go. So the first problem, a vial contains 20 milli milliliters, I have no idea, of medicine. If each dose is one-eighth of the vial, how many mil milliliters is each dose? Express your answer as a decimal. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. oh. but, but, no. Okay, so we're gonna have to draw a tape diagram. Yeah, I'm really bad at this. Jeez. It's too big. Okay, and then we're going to have seven lines because there's an eight thing, you know. Four, six, seven. I'm really bad at this. This, just one of these is one dose. That's not, no. One dose. And then all of these are equal to 20. And then. So we're going to have to do. We're going to make a little platformy thingy. My bobber. And then we're going to write. 20 times 1, and then put the 8 right there, because up here it shows the 1 8 thing. You can't see that anymore now. Just erase that. There we go. Yeah. And then, which... Hey guys, I'm just going to interrupt Alex really, really quickly. He set us up beautifully uh, with this problem. He drew this awesome tape diagram. He divided it into eight equal sections. Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He told us so brilliantly that the entire rectangle represents 20 milliliters. And each dose is one eighth of the vial. We wanted to know how many milliliters in, is in each dose. And as Alex was telling us, we just have to do, um, we have to do one eighth of 20, which you guys know is just very simply one eighth times 20. And Alex had us set up. I just wanted to talk this through, through a little bit more. Alex, you did an awesome job with that, buddy. I just wanted to slow it down for my friends that um, needed a little bit more explanations. We have 1 times 20 upstairs, which is 20. And then we have 8 downstairs. We need to simplify this. 20 over 8 is a very improper fraction. 20 over 8, we can simplify in a few different ways. One of those ways is long division. We just think, hmm, how many? 20 divided by 8. 8 goes into 20 two times with some left over. 2 times 8 is 16. 
Our difference here is going to be four. We're going to add a decimal because we want to get rid of this remainder. So we're going to bring down a zero. We added our decimal. Oops, sorry. We need to move that up. So we have two point something. And we're going to think about how many eights go into 40. You guys know five eights go into 40 because five times eight is 40. And we do not have a remainder. So uh, 20 divided by eight is 2.5. Find a fraction of a whole, and then we just simplify uh, our 20 over 8, as uh, Alex is just about to tell you guys here. I think. I don't know. Yeah, we're done. A container holds 0.7 liters of oil and vinegar. Three-fourths of the mixture is vinegar. How many liters of vinegar are in the container? Express your answer as both a fraction and a decimal. So first... Diagram and since the okay that that was horrible. Um, the denominator is four. That was better than mine. We have to split it into three. I mean four spaces, and then the total is zero point seven oh, liters. God. And three fourths of the mixture is vinegar. So we're going to get three fourths. That's vinegar. Dang, handwriting's close. Okay, so next we have to do 0 0.7 as a fraction, it's which equals one. 7 <laughs> over 10. Oh, whoops. Next. To find out how many liters of vinegar is in the container, we have to do 7 over 10. 7 over 10 times 3 fourths. 7 times 3 equals 21 over 10 times 4, which equals 40. That is our fraction form. Yeah. Now, drawing it. <laughs> decimal <laughs> form. Okay, so we can't divide it into 10 or 100 or 1,000. So we have to multiply it to 10, Sorry, I didn't know what that 100, did. or 1,000. I know that 40, I mean, 4 times 25 equals 100. I think the video is a little bit too far. So then 40 times 25 equals 1,000. Hi, Ethan. Next, we have to multiply 21 times 25. 1 times 5 equals 5. 2 times 5 equals 10. Then a 0. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. And if you add those, 5 to 5, you get 5 to 5. Now we have this, but it still needs to be a decimal. So 525 would go into the thousandths column. So that would be 0.525 liters. And that's fraction form. And that's decimal form. So there is, in conclusion, oh God. 21 fortieths or 0.25 um, liters of vinegar and all. Okay. Hey guys, it's me again. I'm just editing uh, Alex's and Zara's awesome video. And our learning target, as you guys know, is problem solving. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave um, Zara and Alex to the problem solving as far as our video goes. We're not introducing any new concepts. We're just practicing all of the amazing skills we have so far. So please come to class tomorrow with the secret word and uh, prepared to do some problem solving. See you then.